Stories are created by real persons. But in this film, we will ignore how these creators' personal lives may influence their stories. The creator can convey all story information via an external narrator. Such a narrator is not itself part of the story. Sometimes an external narrator narrates the entire story directly to us, using language, images, music, and sounds, alone or in combination. But usually, the external narrator delegates part of the narrating to characters in the story. Characters, of course, only know what other characters tell or show them. But an external narrator may also communicate to us what a character thinks, so that we know more than other characters. The external narrator also decides on the point of view we get. It can just present its own point of view to us, or it can present what a character perceives. This may be a physical experience, this is called perceptual focalization, or what a character thinks or imagines or dreams. This is called mental focalization. Narrating and focalizing characters are the ones we tend to identify mm. with. But what if two characters present different versions of an event? The differences may be small or big. Then we need to decide whose version is the best or the most trustworthy one. Stories become complicated if narration and focalization are layered. Characters ranking higher in this narrative hierarchy have better opportunities to persuade us they are right than characters lower in this hierarchy. But a story is not always presented by an external narrator. It can also be narrated and focalized entirely by a character within the story, a so-called first-person narrator. Then our understanding of the story world is completely restricted to that character's version of events, since other characters' perspectives are always filtered via the first-person narrator. Interestingly, a first-person narrator may prove unreliable. We then have to figure out from what he himself tells us that we cannot trust him. For instance, because he is naive or a liar, or a madman. An unusual form of narration mixes the objective perspective of the external narrator and the subjective perspective of a character. This makes it often impossible for the viewer to figure out precisely which part of the information must be attributed to which narrator. Narrators that are different from ourselves force us to think about what is normal and invite us to reflect on ideological and moral issues. Quack. Understanding the art of narration is essential. It is via stories that we make sense of our lives. <laughs>